Hi, a cat call here. Um, just sort of do a quick video on some settings that I'm using for Project Cars 2 uh, for NVIDIA graphics cards. Uh, I had a search about looking for anybody that had done it and I couldn't find anything, so just thought I'd make this quick video. Um, so, um, so we'll start off with uh, <coughs> with uh, the settings in, in my NVIDIA control panel. Um, so anyway, first thing you need to do is uh, go to your Manage 3D settings on the left here and then go to, if you haven't got Project Cars 2 in the drop down, which you probably haven't, uh, click on Add and then it will come up in this list, look there's, there's mine, I'm not going to add it again though. Um, yeah, and then once you do that it will be in the list. Uh, so then you'll, you'll go down, select Project Cars 2 uh, like that right and I've got me anisotropic filtering on 16 times anti-aliasing FXAA on uh, anti-aliasing mode override any application setting anti-aliasing setting now I've got mine on four times because I'm using quite a low-end CPU uh, I've only I've got an 83 uh, AMD FX 8350 uh, overclocked to four and a half gigahertz, um, and and it's quite you know it's quite demanding project cars too on my CPU. So I've only got this on four times. But obviously, if you've got a better CPU than me, then you would be able to put it up to eight. I tried it at eight. It was okay, but it was just a not not a lot of wiggle room, you know, with my CPU. Um, so anyway, uh, maximum pre-renders rendered frames. Stick that on one. Um, right, as we scroll down to here, texture filtering. Stick that on. Texture filtering negative uh, LOD bias. I've got mine on clamp. Uh, texture filtering quality high quality. Texture filtering trilinear optimization on. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I ain't got VSync on. So that's it for the NVIDIA um, inspector settings. Uh, and NVIDIA uh, configuration settings. Um, so next we'll uh, boot into the game and I'll show you what I've got in there. Right, as you can see, we're uh, into the main options section. Um, my visual FX. I have the post processing filters on. Uh, no exterior sun flare. Interior is minimal. Bloom off, heat haze off. Uh, raindrops are off, which can't tell the difference when they're on or off. Uh, vignettes off. Uh, no uh, no rays. Got the screen date on, and the cockpit mirrors are on. Um, and then into performance. I've got my resolution at 68, so that's the maximum I can run on my uh, monitor. Texture resolution is high. Put this anti sotropic on 16 times to match your NVIDIA settings. I don't know if you need to or not, but um, I, I, you know, I think it's best to match them up. Uh, no VSync, no MSAA, no post AA, and super sampling is off. I've got the reflections on low, um, and these bits are, are really more to do with my CPU. Uh, again, if you've got a better CPU than me, you'll be able to turn some of these options on or or, or up a little bit. But uh, it look it looks pretty good, um, you know, uh, without doing that. So um, you know, no problem at all. Uh, which I will just uh, do a quick one lap race in Thunderstorm and just show you how it runs uh, with these settings. Um, right, we go to quick play. I've already got a custom race set up. Uh, that's one lap in Thunderstorm. And I'll show you uh, how that runs. <coughs>
Right, as you can see, it's thrown it down with rain. Uh, let's uh, click on start. Okay, mate, let's focus on the lights and try and make up some places here. Keep it clean, keep your wits about you as well. There's a few crazies out there today. Now, as you can see, you know, it's running absolutely fantastic. Oh, locking up and sliding in the rains. As you can see, there's no um, glitching or anything. It's running absolutely spot on. I mean, on my CPU originally, before I put these settings on, it was running at about 80%, and now I'm getting, on average, between 60 and 65. It's using the CPU, so it's it's freed a lot of processing power up. Oops. But there you go um, and that's uh, that's my settings I just thought I'd do this quick video for that um, uh, because like I say I couldn't find any information so I decided to just uh, have a play about with some settings myself uh, but yeah I hope you enjoyed that video hopefully it's of use to uh, to somebody um, and uh, yeah if you've enjoyed this video uh, give it a like um, if you want to be no, if you want to be notified of when I'm streaming or when I upload new videos, um, hit that subscribe button, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links are in the description. Many thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.